in this world full of pop heroes, fantasy heroes and sports heroes. Who else is a hero for you? A doctor, an engineer or a teacher? For us, hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of the perpetual obstacles in the world. And they are all around us, facing challenges with fear and grace. And we always look up to them for strength and courage. We at Inactive Kesho Mahavidale are a family of more than 30 ardent and socially driven members who aim at changing lives with and for people. As a team, we brainstorm ideas, create pioneering business models and work rigorously towards creating an impact on the lives of underprivileged people. In India, there are approximately 675 million females which account for 48.05% of the entire population and only about 120 million ladies or 18.5% of the total female population can be considered employed. Due to the social restraints in lower income homes where men are the primary breadwinners, women are continually stifled and forced to limit themselves to household chores. So this is their fight. Fight against society stereotypes. Fight against bare minimum opportunities. Fight against patriarchy. Fight against all social and environmental evils. Upon apprehending these never-ending challenges, we were obligated to intervene and design a relevant plan of action which led to the inception of our flagship project, PEHEL. PEHEL means initiative and our goal is to enlighten the potential of the women of our community who are the real architects of our society. By providing them with vocational training and supplement earnings, we aim to enhance a woman's rights and amplify her voice within and beyond her family. With the hope to promote the essence of women power, we connected with the ladies of Tarun and Clay, situated on the outskirts of Pitampura, Delhi. We conducted a few surveys to learn about their hardships and made it our resolution to help them gradually move towards self-reliance. We conceptualized an entrepreneurial business model to design a variety of canvas bags. We now proceeded with our journey and got connected with the Azadpur area of New Delhi, a cluster of slums along the railway lines. We have tried to analyze their social economical situations by interviewing them in order to better help the community. Upon identification of problems, we provide women with vocational training through our collaborations with various NGOs, one being Sewing New India's Future, through which they are equipped with appropriate knowledge and skills that will be required for creating these products. After gaining requisite skills under vocational training, the women of Tarun and Clay utilize the provided raw materials like canvas cloth, sewing equipments and other necessary inputs required for producing Jula, our flagship product. We primarily use the B2B and B2C model for marketing our products. Earnings from the B2B model come through corporate gifting, selling to various NGOs and RWAs, which accounts for 70% of the total revenue generated. Revenue generated from the B2C model accounts for 30% of the total revenue and comes from physical selling, organizing stalls, and personal selling. Using this business model, Project Pehel has generated revenue of over 2,70,000 rupees, directly aiding over 250 women of Tarun and Clay. By collaborating with these women, we have always believed in bringing a change in our society. With our prolonged efforts in bringing and empowering these women, we have not only created entrepreneurs, but have also had an impact in different spheres. Through our initiative, we have been able to create 25 plus women entrepreneurs and hence bring a change in their lives. Skill enhancement and vocational training has been an important aspect and through development workshops, we have upskilled more than 250 women. In addition to this, we have organized financial literacy workshops in collaboration with multiple organizations. The most significant change in the lives of these women has been financial independence and self-reliance. With the growing market of trendy eco-friendly canvas bags, we have been able to generate revenue upwards of Rs. 2,70,000 through multiple sales channels and hence improving the standard of living for our community. The project aims at minimizing usage of plastic waste and promotion of sustainable alternatives. We understand the importance of giving back to the earth that provides for us. For each canvas bag we produce, 500 single-use plastic bags are substituted and thus we have successfully eliminated 4 tons of plastic. With the project, we are targeting 5 UN Sustainable Development Goals. Our primary SDG would be SDG 5, Gender Equality to empower underprivileged women from different communities to make a living and stand shoulder to shoulder with men. The secondary SDGs we are targeting are Ever since the commencement of Project Pehel, we have impacted the lives of numerous underprivileged women who lack opportunities but have the willingness to work. 
ensuring that they get educated and get to learn numerous entrepreneurial skills. Our future objective is to reach out to more such women and simultaneously diversify our products by introducing a new range of tote bags, easy to carry travel pouches and customized merchandise for individuals and organizations. We also plan to reach out to certain sections of the LGBTQ community such as transgenders and collaborate with them for our future endeavors. Even if we are able to provide recognition and help 1% of these 135 million individuals who identify themselves under the pride community, we will move one step closer to our goal. To fulfill this essence of an actress, our focus will be to scale 450 more people and educate 2100 plus women while creating at least 50 plus entrepreneurs. Over the past century, the decline of Indian cultural arts has been attributed to the adoption of Western lifestyles. These arts are often overlooked despite their importance, beauty and utility. Terracotta has long been part of India's culture, but due to industrialization, it has been replaced by economical substitutes. The artisans of Uttam Nagar in their attempt to keep earthenware prominent and evergreen are making exceptional terracotta products, but due to declining demands for their products, poverty has been prevailing in the community. Indian heritage brims with art forms. They help us shape our culture and nurturing them stands as our primary agenda. When we think of this and its association with one-time use eco-friendly products, terracotta is something that comes to mind. From being used as pots to store water to beautiful religious figures, terracotta holds a rustic but elegant vibe and the presence of its artifacts pan India proves its exquisiteness. Even though terracotta has such a vivid influence on our heritage, we have adopted the use of cheaper but unsustainable products such as plastic to fulfill the needs of the masses. With the vision to revive the virtuous art of pottery and providing a helping hand to the artisans who practice it, we started Project Sahaita and under this initiative, we aim at eliminating the middleman and establishing a profound connection between the porters and their ultimate customers and thus becoming their voice in the mission to revive the dying art. The process is kick started by identifying various porter families in the Uttam Nagar community during the field visits and then via effective communication, a proper catalogue is prepared regarding the products that the artisans create. Then different varieties of products are procured from the porters and a sufficient inventory is created to eliminate the time gap between placement of order and delivery. The last stage of the process entails the sale of the product. Project Sahita uses a dual approach including both B2B that is collaborating with cafes or restaurants and corporate gifting and B2C that is selling products via stalls, personal selling and spreading awareness about the products using social media as well. Project Sahita has generated revenue of over 3,50,000 rupees directly aiding over 800 porters of the Uttam Nagar community. We have crossed new seas over the years in our effort to uplift the porter community and as part of this journey, we have left imprints in multiple spheres. We have been able to strengthen the economic conditions of porters of Kumhar Gram by establishing links between porters and customers in offline as well as online mode and thus expanded our family. Parallelly, we have successfully guided and upskilled 100 plus porters along with engendering more than 35 entrepreneurs. Moreover, we are persistently assisting and extending aid to families of 150 of our porter companions. Shedding light on our battle against poverty shows revenue upwards of Rs 3,50,000 through selling their artwork. Furthermore, we have raised the standard of living of over 10 porter families by increasing their monthly income from 7,000 to 18,000 rupees. In our struggle for a sustainable world, we have created a substantial impact by eliminating around 120 kgs of plastic by substituting unsustainable one-time use disposals with handmade terracotta products. Furthermore, we have flourishingly convinced seven restaurants to convert to earthenware consequently providing our cause a wider reach. Under our project, we are targeting five UN Sustainable Development Goals, primary one being SDG 8, decent work and economic growth by equipping porters with business opportunities to earn an enhanced income via their art. Our secondary SDGs targeted are Since the beginning, our objective at Sahita is to ensure that the 200 plus families 
who live in Kumar Gram are recognized and rewarded for their efforts and the dying art of pottery is saved. In the forthcoming years, we aim to create more than 70 entrepreneurs and scale 650 plus residents. Our goal would be to ensure that every Potter family earns at least Rs 27,000 per month. For this to happen, we intend to expand our product range to include black pottery, ceramics and kavada pottery and boost our efficiency with the help of a self-designed website. We aspire to reach new heights by registering potters on the e-commerce platforms so that they can reach a wider audience directly. Our team further plans to collaborate with Chayos, Biryani Blues and other zero-waste restaurants and fast food franchises. In the future, our team aims to go on a journey and find another neglected community and help around 1300 plus craftsmen to help them become self-sufficient. Project Saayata started off as a vision, but with the combined efforts of the potters and our team, it has now become a movement. A movement to foster a meaningful change. A movement to empower the community. And a movement to bring a significant change in the lives of the people and the society. Together, as a family, we want to bring a change, not only within ourselves, but the world at large. Our entire journey isn't just about numbers or figures, it's about empowerment. It's about creating opportunities and filling the lives of underprivileged people with groundbreaking opportunities. This is what we aim and work for as a team. Therefore, we at the National Stage of Market Journey to a flagship project, Sahaika and Pehel, strive to serve and thrive the underprivileged communities around us.